What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanna shout out something really cool that just happened. My guided meditation app was just accepted into the App Store, so if you wanna check that out, it's available for iPhones and Androids. It's a free app, and you get a free seven-day guided meditation experience when you sign up. All you have to do is click the button in the description below, whether you have Android or an iPhone, you can download it for free. And the main function of this app is helping you build your relationship with your subconscious mind. And I'll get into why that's so important later in this video, but I wanna plant that seed right now. And so by the end of this video, if you're like, you know what, I think I really would like to work on my relationship with my subconscious mind, you can go check it out. The link is in the description below. So positive thinking, it, it doesn't work very well. And it doesn't work very well because you're using your conscious mind. Now your conscious mind is usually operating in beta brainwaves. And beta brainwaves are our rational mind. It's what we walk around in every day. It's what our ego lives in. And it has a very short bubble, right? Like if I asked you what you ate for breakfast yesterday, you may not remember, that's probably already shifted out of your conscious mind. We have a few different parts of our mind that I'll be talking about on this YouTube channel. We have our conscious mind, we have our subconscious mind, and we have our super conscious mind. And today I'm gonna to be focusing on distinguishing between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And now when most people do positive thinking, they're doing it in their conscious mind. They're saying to themselves, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm gonna manifest this, I'm gonna manifest everything I want, you know, I'm a good person. They're just constantly giving themselves affirmations and they're saying, hey, I'm a positive thinking person. Why do bad things keep happening to me? Why don't I manifest or create the things that I want in my life? And mainly it comes down to the processing power of our conscious mind versus our subconscious mind. Our conscious mind processes around 40 bits of information per second and our subconscious mind processes around 40 million bits of information per second. So knowing that, if you want to put a positive message or program into your mind, are you gonna use the conscious mind or the subconscious mind? And so now if you've ever been someone who's like, you know what, I do positive affirmations and for some reason, like I hear they're supposed to work, but you know, I do them for like a month or so and then I stop doing them because they're not working. My life's not changing. Well. Maybe that explains why. You can say happy things to yourself all day, but it doesn't really matter because your processing power of your conscious mind is so weak. Now, I'm not saying you're weak, I'm saying the processing power of your conscious mind is weak. Your subconscious, if you can tap into that, is incredibly strong and can really unlock just about anything you can imagine in your life. And so that's why I'm making this video because I think a lot of people are confused. They're like, I feel like I'm positive. I say positive things to myself things aren't happening. Well, what's going on is when you're putting your conscious thoughts or intentions into the world, it's a beautiful thing, it's great, it's good that you're doing it, but what's happening the rest of the time when you're not consciously saying, I'm happy, or I'm strong, or I'm courageous, or whatever your positive thinking is, what's happening all the rest of the time? Your subconscious is at work. When you go on autopilot, your subconscious starts playing all these programs that you've built up throughout your whole life that it thinks that you're supposed to be using because it learned at a young age that this is the way that you're supposed to think and operate. And so when you're not constantly pushing your affirmations or positive thinking into the world, your subconscious is working. And the truth is your subconscious is operating most of your reality. Your subconscious is beating your heart. Your subconscious is opening and closing your hands. Your subconscious is growing your hair. Your subconscious is growing your fingernails. Your subconscious is really programming you to have positive or negative habits. Your subconscious is doing most of the work out here. So that's why just talking to your conscious mind isn't gonna be very powerful. And so you're probably wondering, well, where did these subconscious beliefs come from? How did I get programmed with the subconscious beliefs that I do have? And most of that happens between the ages of zero and six years old. So when we're zero to two, one, zero, one, two years old, we're basically looking at our parents' eyes and we're looking to see what they think of the world. And so we are basically doing self-hypnosis as we watch them. We're internalizing and saying, you know what, I don't, we're just consuming, consuming, consuming. We're not creating our own reality when we're that young. We're just consuming and then we're programming our mind to say, okay, 
mom or dad said that's good or bad, so now I believe that's good or bad. And then as you get older, up until the age of six, you're still going through the stage of self-hypnosis. So whatever environment that you're around, uh, whether it's positive or negative or whatever things you get exposed to, that's all programming your subconscious mind. So all of us are basically a manifestation of what was going on during that programming between the ages of zero and six. Now, it's not all over. You don't have to have that same program for the rest of your life. Obviously, many people change that programming, and so that's what I wanna share with you today. I'm gonna to be straight up with you. Most of us are programmed with some pretty fucked up subconscious beliefs. I have them, you have them, we all have them. I mean, just from my life, you know, I'm Jewish, so going back to parents or generations, genetics, whatever, I definitely have, you know, that neuroticism and, you know, issues with money, all that stuff the Jews have that I personally have had to work through myself. And so don't feel bad that you have your subconscious issues to work through because we all do. I do, you do, and that's what this work is all about. That's why we're here today. But most of these cycles that we're experiencing through our subconscious that hold us back from creating what we want are giving us the same message of we're not enough. And the reason I'm explaining this to you is because if you watch the last video that I made, you can check out the last video in this playlist, I explained that my intention here is to help you discover and cultivate your gift, your purpose, and bring it into the world. And you will never be able to fully actualize yourself until you move past these BS, subconscious, sabotaging mindsets. Okay, so you're probably wondering by now, I get it, my conscious mind is kind of weak, my subconscious is super powerful, how do I begin to cultivate my subconscious mind? How do I begin to reprogram it and train it to create the life that I want? And I'm gonna start by shouting out someone who's really big in pop culture right now and explaining how he does it so maybe you can relate to your own life and think about how this might make sense. So I don't know if any of you out there listen to reggaeton music, but there's a very popular artist right now. His name is Jay Balvin. He is the number one most streamed artist on YouTube most popular music artist in the whole world right now. And this guy, not only did he say that meditation plays a huge part in his life and has replaced alcohol and drugs and most of the things that you know people in that industry do, but he said meditation saved his life. I gotta be ready to be in a clearer mindset. So I started meditating. Meditation has helped me a lot. It's just 20 minutes every day that makes you feel stronger. When you meditate, you go down to the ocean and get the calm and relax by the waves are moving. And it's not just because he was able to stop doing drugs or anything like that. Yes, that, that probably is very helpful, but it's because he was able to use meditation and mindfulness training to build this relationship with his subconscious mind, to tap into that creativity that flows through him and allows him to create hit after hit after hit. He is channeling through the subconscious and you can call it whatever you want, right? A lot of people refer to God. You can do that if you want, but let's just, for the purpose of this video, talk about the subconscious. We are channeling that through us and then we're coming up with that creativity and we're bringing it out into the world. And that's what many people who have achieved success are able to do, whether it's Albert Einstein or Tesla or many of the greatest minds ever. These guys are not sitting there rationally with a piece of paper and a, and a pad and just going, oh, how do I think of the answers? No, they're not doing that. They built this relationship with their subconscious mind where the answers just flow through them and the creativity flows through them. And so they're able to actualize their gifts in the world. And so meditation and mindfulness, I believe, is a foundation to building this relationship with your subconscious mind. And think about this for your own life really quick. Whenever you have aha moments, you're like, oh, I should go do that thing. You probably aren't thinking up this thing, right? It just kind of floats into your mind. What is that? How does that happen? That's your subconscious at work. It's flowing through you, through your subconscious. Think of our subconscious as a giant cloud, this energy cloud, right? 
We're all familiar, we upload files to the cloud all the time, but we have our individual clouds in the subconscious and all that creativity and all of our gifts and all the positive programming that we want, it can all exist in this cloud and we can program it and we can have it flow through us on demand when we want it. It's my belief that your subconscious can literally manifest anything you want into your reality. So if you don't like your life right now, this is something you need to listen very closely to. If you build a relationship with your subconscious mind, you can begin to create a different reality. And it's not magic, right? It's not magic. This isn't something that isn't scientifically explainable. Quantum physics talks about this. But beyond that, into something that makes a lot of rational sense to your conscious mind. Your subconscious controls your habits. So if you have bad programming within your subconscious mind, you're going to have bad habits. It just does whatever you train it to do. So if you train it to smoke a cigarette every time you feel uncomfortable or go binge eat every time you feel uncomfortable, it's going to say, oh, you're uncomfortable. Go get that cigarette, go get that food, go get it, whatever that thing is that you think you need. It also goes the other way. If you train your subconscious and you train your habits to be positive, then every time you feel uncomfortable, you can train in a habit like, ooh, I feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna go meditate, or I'm gonna go exercise, or I'm gonna go do something that serves my greatest interests. So all these things are habits. Whether it's taking action in your life and making sure that you're consistent enough for the things you care about to create the results that you want, or anything else, it all comes down to habits. And habits are programs through our subconscious mind. So this is a deep rabbit hole I'm leading you down right now and I don't wanna overload you with too much information. I promise you there'll be more videos to follow this one. They're gonna give you the next necessary steps. But before I say another word, I believe that action is everything. We need to start building momentum for you and your life right now. If you feel anxious, if you feel stressed, if you feel stuck, if you feel that you're not actualizing the gifts that you have, then this is a time. This is a time to step up and start taking action. You can transition from these feelings, these negative feelings, these depressed feelings, these helpless feelings into a state of positivity, of courage, of confidence, of hope, of joy, of happiness. You can make this transition if you follow the steps I'm gonna be giving you on this YouTube channel and these first action steps right now. So the first action step I'm gonna give you is to download the free meditation app that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. It's linked down in the description below. This app has a seven day free meditation challenge. This is going to be the first step for you going down the rabbit hole with me, starting to train your subconscious mind, develop that relationship so you can eventually manifest everything you want. So the first step is taking action. And if you just watch this video and you're like, oh, that's interesting, the subconscious mind. I had no idea it was so powerful. You know what, that's really interesting. Your life's not gonna change. And like I said in the last video, this channel right here is not for people like you. So if you just thought this was interesting, but you don't know if you wanna do anything, unsubscribe from the channel, stop watching this channel because this is not for you. I'm gonna be giving the exact steps to build your relationship with your subconscious and start to create exactly what you wanna manifest in the world. So that's only gonna happen for people who take action. So I don't want people watching this not taking action and not getting results. I want people to watch this information, consume it, really take it in, take the action, and then take these next steps with me. So the next step is download the meditation app. It's linked in the first line in the description below. And through these first meditation sessions, what they're gonna do is help you start to cultivate that relationship with your subconscious mind. It's gonna build that relationship stronger so you start to connect to that subconscious. You're gonna feel more creativity flow through you. You're gonna feel more present. You're gonna feel more in control immediately. So that's what I'm excited about. And so do the first few days of this, and very shortly I'll be releasing a new video that's gonna give you your next steps. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment below. And if you know someone else who you think would benefit from watching this content, definitely share the video with them as well. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And if you wanna connect with me personally, you can always do so on the gram, at Zen Master Ep. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.